Hello, welcome to Me and My Golf. We're your coaches, Andy and Pierce, and it's time for the Impact Show, and we have an unbelievable guest today. We have world number one, Dustin Johnson. Pierce, this one is going to be an exciting one. Wow, amazing. Yeah, so what we're going to be doing is watching him hit some shots, to get in some track man numbers, and just discussing his golf swing. Guys, you don't want to miss this. Let's take charge of your game. Okay, so DJ, welcome to the show. Thanks, thanks for having me. Great to see Good you see again. You again. Yeah. So we saw you towards the end of uh, 2016 at the previous launch for TaylorMade. Um, it was a great year, 2016. 2017 has been a fantastic season. World number one now, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, can you sum up your season for 2017? Um, obviously got off to a great start. Um, you know, the beginning of the year played very, very well. Um, you know, went in three tournaments in a row or, you know, three starts in a row. And, um, you know, unfortunately, you know, missed Augusta with the injury, but, you know, other than that, and then, you know, struggled for a while because it, you know, it took me a long time to recover from, from the injury, but then coming back at the end of the year and winning the, the Northern Trust, uh, you know, one of the playoff events, you know, it was big. It was a big season for me. I mean, four wins, most I've ever had in a year. So, yeah, um, yeah I mean, 2017 was a, was, a, was a really good year. Didn't play the majors as, as well as I would like to, but, other than that, I mean, I thought it was a great year. Brilliant. Yeah, superb. And obviously, we're at the M3, M4 launch now, so there's a new driver in the bag. What have you got? What's the spec on this? I've got an M3 10 5. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I mean, I really think they hit a home run with this driver. Okay. Um, you know, I've picked up a lot of ball speed with it, you know, a few miles an hour ball speed, and, the, you know, it's performing very, very well. Um, you know, I, I'm very excited about playing it. Could be, could be interesting, couldn't you? You got the weights forward as well, so that's obviously for the most speed as well. Well, yeah, it takes a little bit of spin off because it was when we first started, it had a touch too much spin. Okay. But that's one reason why I like like the Sim Three is, you know, I can fine tune it to get it, you know, exactly where I want it. Yeah, and if and if if obviously I know you you spoke about this about the misview being maybe high toe sometimes. This changes things for you a bit, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, I kind of vary. I mean, I've, you know, for me, it goes right across the club this way. You okay. know, it kind of, you know. Low heel to high toe. Low heel to high toe. And, you know, with the twist face now, you know, what I've really noticed is my spin rates. You know, the, the cluster is, the grouping is very, very tight. Like, you know, hitting it off the heel, you know, might spend 2,400 or something. And, you know, hitting it off the toes around 1,800. Where before, you know, with the drivers in the past, you know, a, a heel might spend 3,000 mm -hmm. um, and, you know, a toe is 1,600. So, it's, you know, they've almost cut the spin rate differential in half, yeah, yeah. which is huge. Yeah. That means the balls you're going to get, it's going to go further and straighter, yeah. you know, with this twist face technology. So it's pretty cool. It's, it's pretty interesting exciting. that. World number one, the guys at home will be thinking, <laughs> well, surely world number one doesn't miss the middle of the face, yeah. but it I, happens, doesn't I it? I very rarely hit it. Well. I very rarely hit it in the middle of the face. <laughs> no, we don't so. believe that. We don't believe that. <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> okay. I, wish, I so, wish I was. Can we get you to hit a few shots? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we'll have a look at some numbers. We'd like to pick your brains and sort of just see what maybe you think about in your golf swing and, uh, and see what's going on. Okay. Let's get loose a little bit. Yeah, hit a couple more. Let's see, get some numbers. Numbers are obviously very good straight away anyway. Yeah, that just one a, was a, that was my, if I'm going to miss one though, I actually don't mind that miss, which is just a little overcut, a little to the right. Okay, the it's one a bit safer, I, isn't it? Yeah, the miss I hate's left. And with this driver, I really, I really haven't missed any left. Yeah. So it's, good. it's been, it's been good. Very nice. Would that be your stock shot there, that little fade? Yeah, I mean, that's probably launched it a little higher than, you know, a stock. I'm going to tee it, probably if I'm hitting just a dead stock one, I'm going to tee it a hair lower. Yeah. Okay. Launch it and just kind of hit a little, okay. little peeler. Yeah. But that one was, I like that one. Good, good height as well on that one as well. So let's hit one more. Definitely the fade, switching to the fade for you has helped you with the ability to hit See, more that fairways. would be my like left miss, and that was still, I mean, it was like dead straight. Yeah, it was just a straight 
It's still a strong flight as well, right. wasn't it? That? I mean, we're talking like sort of 25 feet left of target right. there. So that's pretty, we can, we can cope with that. So I, th I think from ourselves as golf coaches, DJ, we love looking at golf swings and finding out information, especially from the world number one, we don't we want to ask questions. So is there anything that you've specifically done in your backswing to get it to where it is now? Or is there something you work at now? Um, I mean, kind of the same things I've always worked on is, you know, my tendency is on, in the takeaway, I get a little lifty and to the outside. So, um, you know, I mean, I just always work on keeping the club a little bit lower on the takeaway okay. so I can get a little bit more width. Yeah. Um, and just, yeah, I mean, generally my, you know, my bad swings are like if I'm a little out of sync, the club's just lifting too fast and I kind of stand up and... Um, what does that result in generally if you do that? I mean, I hit good shots doing it. Yeah. But, but yeah, you know, just miss hits yeah. generally. Yeah. Just, you know, because the timing's got to be perfect for it to come back and hit the center. Um, but, you know, if I'm swinging really well, generally the club's staying a little bit lower, a little bit longer. Yeah. That's all. I mean, it's very you know, subtle, but... Sometimes hard to see the difference, isn't it, right. between that, but the feel for you is quite different, I Right, well, it just gets me a little little wider, yeah. get a little more width, and Good. so it's a little bit easier. So when it gets lifting outside, then obviously the club's not in the right position on the backswing, so then on the downswing, I kind of drop it underneath, which is what I don't want to do. Yeah. yeah, which brings the left shot in, which you definitely Correct. don't want to get. So I think the one thing, we'll watch it some in a second, just looking at this backswing, but one thing we have to ask, quite distinctive your wrist position at the top of the backswing, yep. DJ. Is that something that you've worked at ever? Um, No. No, it's just naturally Never. happened, yeah? yeah. So hit, hit me another one. We can see when he's doing that, Andy, that takeaway, obviously, is he's getting that width when you're yeah, doing it. Looks... Yeah, Well, what it does, too, is it helps me get that club coming back down in the spot that I want it. So it's not, it's not underneath. Yeah. It's not, it's not underneath my hands coming down because that's where. That's the danger. And then I get the club working out this way. Yeah. So you're you know, saying. I really want to turn and get the club working left yeah. through the ball. So you're saying, obviously, as soon as it goes up there, then there's a reroute too much, and then we right. have a problem. And so I'm just trying to minimize that. I mean, yeah. it always reroutes a little, mm -hmm. you know, from the top, but the less that it does that, the better. Yeah. 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 So you'll want to swing as much, maybe, left as you can, really, to avoid getting that club dropping inside. Well, so once I, you know, to me, so when I, I grew up, I mean, I kind of self-taught. I had some teachers that helped me around the, around, you know, when I was growing up, but. For me, my club face, everyone, they say it's closed, but to me, it's square. Mm -hmm. Just because I never, I just never rotated off the target line yeah. um, where, you know, people that yeah. open it, yeah, yeah, and then they got to close it back where yeah. I don't have to do that. Yeah, so it's definitely a strength, and it's only closed if it's going left, so yeah. generally right. you don't struggle too much with and, that. And, I mean, technically, a golf swing is only about this long anyway, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. It don't really matter what you do up here. Exactly. As long as you can get it back in the right position at yeah, the bottom. Exactly. That's what you can do consistently, as you say, at the bottom of the swing. So let's hit, just hit a couple more, and then maybe Andy will just have a look at yeah, the, uh, the down swing a little bit. Just. Yeah, that's a good one right Best there. Best one so far, that one? Yeah, I mean, that's just a stock, smooth, fairway finder. What's yeah. the smooth one looking at there, Pierce? This smooth one's wide. looking at... Hasn't come down yet, obviously. 336. 336. So a smooth 336 drive, no problem. So if we talk about downswing then, DJ, obviously you've got incredible speed. Um, what do you put the speed down to? Is this something that you've done? You've always done from a from a young age. A lot of sports as a as a yeah. as a youngster. I mean, I, you know, I've always hit it fairly far. I mean, I hit it further now than I did, you know, probably ever. Yeah. But you know, then that's from you know training, a lot of training and. Um, um, but yeah, I've just, I've always had speed, Yeah. but it's, you know, there's a big difference between having speed and then being able to control your speed too. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I can hit it a lot harder than I do. Yeah. Uh, but you know, you, you, you golf's all about finding your ball and getting it in is. the hole the fastest. So, and your speed, you're not really hitting it hard to you, are you? You're not sort of going all out. This is what no. you've just created I mean, naturally, that speed. I don't know if I've ever hit one like full out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even on the range, 
um, you know, when I'm trying to get my numbers way up. Yeah. I don't think I've ever swung full out, but, you know, generally I'm swinging probably 85% and yeah. I might go to 90 would be about max. Yeah. You know, on a golf course. Which is pretty good at that sort of speed. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, noticeably in your golf swing, you, you use the ground really well. So you, you use the, the lower body and you rotate hard. And, and p mainly that's a lot to, to do what happens with the club face. You have to do that to really stabilize that club face. Have you ever worked at that? Or is that, again, more of a natural thing that comes to you where you just really fire that body? Yeah, no, I've never, I don't think I've, I mean, when I started hitting cuts, obviously I had to work on getting the, the chest to rotate and cover the ball a little bit better. Yeah more so with the irons yeah than the driver but you know just to get the get the path going a little bit more left yeah. getting the ball to start left because i've always pretty much my whole life until a couple years ago i've always played a draw yeah i mean i just would not play a cut unless like if i had to cut it around some trees or something no problem but from the middle of the fairway any pin any wind yeah i'm gonna hit a draw um so um, yeah, I mean, there's definitely been some changes I've had to make, you know, especially with the iron swings, just yeah. to get the the ball to cut. But it's more adjusting the setup more than anything. You know, it's pretty basic, you know, fundamentals. The only thing I've, you know, if I'm getting a bad habit or if I'm not cutting it properly, it's generally just because I'm I'm a little bit behind yeah. and a little bit underneath, and you know, it's pretty easy to fix. So you just work that chest and that torso. Yeah, I mean, I can't. You know, you can't really, for me, I can't overdo it. Yeah. Um, you know, so, so yeah, I always, so that's what I'm always working on is, you know, just trying to cover the ball a little bit better, especially with irons. Perfect. Let's just take another one here. We'll show the guys again at home sort of how much that body works. And I mean, what's noticeable, Pierce, with DJ is that right elbow and the arms are so yeah. sort of tucked in in the downswing. He gets that beautiful extension mm. through the golf ball. and. Uh, that's what enables him to really control the face and hit the ball. Nice. Yeah, pretty much as you want it yeah, to play it again. That. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah, right these are down the middle. Fairway finders, aren't they? Yeah. So, OK, look, look, let's just one last question before we, we finish here. Obviously, win a US Open. What would be, is there a preference on a major that you'd want to win next? Any of them. Any of them. <laughs> All three of them, I'm yeah? Not, uh, <laughs> I'm not, I mean, if I had to, be partial to one would be Augusta just because I grew up so close to it. But I mean, any major, I'll be thrilled. Be happy. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. It's going to happen pretty I'm soon. Not, I'm not that picky. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, let's, let's, let's give you a scenario then. So you're on the 18th tee at Augusta, hit the fairway, make a par, win the tournament. What sort of things are you going through? Is there a pre shot routine? Is there anything that you'd change or would you just, what would you do? We what asked this Rory as well. We asked this Rory two weeks ago. So as well. What would you do to hit that fair? Were you going to play the cut? Oh, I'm going to play a cut. You're going to play the sure. cut, yeah. Absolutely. And it's, yeah, I'm going to play a cut. Yeah. And depending on the wind, I mean, actually, no, it doesn't matter. I'm going to hit a driver. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to hit a driver because if it's helping wind, I'm just going to hit it as hard as I can because then I can maybe get it past the bunkers if I pull it. But can you can you can you carry those bunkers from that back tee? I mean, it'd have to no. be a, no, probably not. Okay. okay. Um, but the, the further bunker is not as bad as the back one either okay. to be in. So it's a little bit shallower, isn't it? Yeah, I'm hitting okay. a shorter iron into it. Okay. So it's not as, but I'm definitely going to hit a driver and I'm going to play a fade. I mean, Let's see you do it. Let's see you do it. Yep. The 18th tee at Augusta. One in the lead, playing with McElroy. Lead. Tina He's chasing you down. There. Well, it's still a little. Still pretty high. Yeah. All right. But yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna try to just make a nice, smooth, controlled swing. There it is. I'm fine. There we go. That green jacket. Yeah. Exactly. DJ, thanks DJ. so much for your time. Thank you. Good luck for 2018. Awesome. Very we'll good. We'll be Thank looking for you at the Masters on that. Thanks for having thing. me. No, you're thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you post any comments and questions down below, and we'll see you soon.
Wow, Andy, that was pretty impressive, wasn't it? Not bad, was it? Not bad. World number one, bombing drives. Look, really, really enjoyed doing that. I hope you guys did too. It was nice to pick his brains and find out what makes him tick on the golf course. Definitely, and you've learnt about his long game, but check out what has made him one of the best wedge players in the world in this week's Me and My Golf Weekly. Head over to meandmygolf.com, click the link in the corner, and go and watch it, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.